having people over for the big game is a great way to show off any cooking skills that you might just have, you know, chilling in your back pocket. <laughs> and it doesn't get any fancier than adding crab to like any dish. So I was more than happy to visit Chef Leif Benson to grab a recipe with our sponsors at Oregon Dungeness Crab because I know everyone is going to love it. So take a look at my cooking lesson. Chef Leif, thank you so much for letting me be here. You know, the big game Sunday. Yeah. I want to impress my friends, but you know, I'm a klutz in the kitchen. <laughs> so I'm so happy to be I got here. Back. Yeah, I get some tips and tricks. Obviously, we are cooking with Oregon Dungeness Crab. So tell me what we're doing today. Yeah, we're going to do mac and cheese, but we're bringing gravitas to the Ooh. table by putting Dungeness Crab into it from Oregon our iconic product, but we're going to make some cheese sauce right after that. Okay. So can you, can you help with this? I can. Awesome. I think so. With you here, I'm a little more confident. Uh, perfect, okay. perfect. <laughs> well, let's grab, let's grab some butter first and okay. put that in the pan. We're going to make a roux because we're going to make a cheese sauce, right? So okay. just put it right in. Perfect. And we're just going to melt that down. You want to get that butter nice and melted. And basically, you're going to make it look like wet sand. Okay. So if you can throw that flour into the pan with the butter. The whole thing? The whole thing. Oh, yep. yeah. Yep. And there's, there's kind of a consistency thing, because even though the cheese is going to kind of thicken its own sauce type of thing, but, you know, uh, you know it helps bind it, basically. Yes. So okay. once it's browned up nicely, we're getting that flour flavor out of there, now we're going to put the milk in. So you just pour it in nice and slow. Okay. Now, it's important to go slow, but tell me why. Yeah, because you're going to, you want a nice smooth sauce. So in this case, we're going to kind of pour it in slow, because if you pour it in fast, you're going to have a little like dumplings in there. And ultimately, <laughs> we're going to bring it to almost a boil because it's milk so we don't want to burn it uh, yes. but uh, you know but the thickening power it has to do when it comes to a full boil okay. or at least close to a full boil we're also going to add some flavoring to it so we're going to take yes. some we're going to put some nutmeg into it so oh. now nutmeg if you can grab that one right there okay uh, you know just nutmeg is a you know you always want to use fresh nutmeg that's whole like this uh, yes and you use that microplane there and you're just going to kind of grate it into this thing right over the pot okay uh, and then yeah just kind of like just that? yeah you can just kind of grate it pretty well you're going to Put a fair amount in there, and as it's thickening up, and nutmeg goes great with uh, with the cheese sauce. It kind of has a sort of nut, nuttiness to it, and so on. Yes. Okay. So now we want to let it. Uh, now that it's come to a boil, okay. we're going to turn down. There's a little bit of white pepper there. If you can throw some white pepper okay. in there, this is looking awesome. Ooh. This is looking awesome. We're going to add cheese now. So yes. we have two types of cheese. We have a white cheddar. From, from a nice local supplier. Yes. And we're gonna go and throw the white cheddar into white that. White cheddar, all we're of it. Put, put the whole the whole business Ooh, in there. That's what I like to So we're hear. talking mac and cheese here. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't wanna, once your cheese is in there, you don't really wanna boil it any longer. Okay. Just, just, you just want it to kind of be nicely homogenized and so on. And then we have a real special cheese, it's called Gruyere, which is this right here. Gruyere. Wanna, yeah, Gruyere is very nice. Now we got the Gruyere. Ooh, nicely said. Well, yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and we just go ahead and dump Put this right, right in. And I'm going to switch to rubber spatula because I want to kind of look better. at that. Oh, like that. yeah, that's oh. so nice. Get all of that. That is, yeah. that <laughs> is so nice. Don't leave any out. Yeah. Anyway, so now we're going to take the, the, the pasta here. So dump it in. OK. Perfect. Pour it right on in. Awesome, like so. And then we're going to give it, it's, it's going to be whatever the package says, but it's usually six or eight minutes, depending. So you want it more or less tender, but not necessarily, over, you don't want it overdone, because okay. we're still going to be baking That's it That's not too long, six yeah, to so ten it's minutes. Not, not too bad, yeah. really, yeah. Okay, chef, our, our noodles are done, <laughs> and Sauce it's time to put in that cheese that oh, we worked yeah. so hard yeah. on. This is gorgeous cheese sauce, too. Boy, I'm just going to pour that right in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, mac and cheese, the gorgeous cheese of the day right there. But then we're going to get, we're going to give it the gravitas and kind of put that Dungeon's Crab in there. Mm, gravitas. Oh, look at this. Uh -oh. I know, the Dungeon's Crab, that's the best yeah. part. It's coming up. <laughs> And then we're going to put some crab into it. Yes. So we're going to do about probably about half this amount of crab. Okay. Because we might want to put some on top too. Just pull it right in like so. It's pretty good. But boy, that crab in there is going to really. This make is it what nice. really makes it like pop. Oh, totally. Because you know sometimes we're thinking anybody can do macaroni and cheese. But you're in Oregon, so we're going to. But be going we're in Oregon. Oregon Dungeness crab. So Oregon Dungeness crab is going right in yeah. that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Look at that. Oh, those nice big chunks of crab in there. Yes. Pretty awesome. So, and then we're just going to sprinkle it on top here. Very fancy. So, again, it's going to give it the crunch factor. You got this creamy pasta and the cheese sauce and yes. Dungeon's crab in there. And we're just going to pop that in the oven, brown it up, and we'll be ready to eat. Okay, Leif, our masterpiece is done. I cannot wait to taste this. I'm going to let you do the, the honor. Serve us up. Perfect. I'm going in. <laughs> 
you know, Dungeon Crab will only enhance whatever you're bringing it to. Yeah. So, like, it pretty much goes with everything. I can't think of anything it doesn't go with, really, yeah. in all reality. <laughs> That's why but it's perfect for the big game. <laughs> look at this cheesy goodness here. Oh, with the crab so mix amazing. In there. Oh, I like Guys that. Got that little crunch on top mm -hmm. with the, the panko crumb. Um, excellent. Great. I can't believe I, I can say that I had a hand in this. Oh, you did. Go <laughs> ahead. I love it. Well, Leigh, thank you so much for letting me stop by. I know I am going to amaze my friends and family cooking this, um, this little recipe that we did. They're not going to believe it, but I'm going to call you on the phone and let you <laughs> let them know I know what I'm doing. It's a win. Okay. It's a win. I have faith in you. Yes, sustainability is the name of the game when it comes to our sponsors at Oregon Dungeness Crab. So a huge thank you to them and Chef Leif. Huh. See, we always have the experts. I love it. 